So, awesome new feature coming out of Midjourney, uh, the option to remix. And what this is, is taking a image and um, sectioning it off and ultimately putting in a new image um, over the top of it to integrate with the scene. Uh, this is extremely exciting um, for uh, AI as well as for Midjourney. And uh, this is going to be a video of how to use remixing and in painting. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I had so much fun making this. Like and subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, open up Midjourney if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to Midjourney, uh, very reasonable um, ask for the money. And what we can do now is go into our Discord site. So click over there and go to Discord. All right. Um, so to enable the um, new feature, I just want to quickly show you a couple of things and a couple of tricks that I learned uh, because it wasn't working initially. So it says here, um, announcements. Here's the very region, which is for the in painting. And it'll give you a bit of a, a blurb of how to pitch uh, how to use it and how to maximize it. All right, so first things first, what I want you to do is go to your Discord server, go to your user settings and log out. All right, so the log out button is at the bottom over here. And then you can log back in because what happens is it's not um, uh, refreshing the system as it's um, been made available. All right, so now you can go back to your mid journey and open it up. And what you can type in now is forward slash settings and hit enter. What this does is it will bring up the uh, settings for mid journey. All right, um, what you want to do is tick on remix mode. All right, so this is de disabled by default. So click on remix mode and it should then enable the new features. All right, um, so that's the first thing that you need to do, very important. If you don't have that, you won't get the options. All right, so <clears throat> the way the um, remixing um, actually works is you type in your normal commands as normal. So imagine, and I've got a prompt saved over here that'll just copy and pop it in all right so if you haven't uh, seen any of my other videos on how to create awesome scenes or some cinematics uh, or action shots or concepts um, i encourage you have a look at the other videos to get you some good um, prompting uh, techniques all right so let's hit enter on this one and what it's going to ultimately do is produce an image for us as a base so i want to start with a good clean base that helps me um, identify an area that I would like to create another image on top of. So we'll give that a few seconds. Okay, so once the scene has been created, choose which image you would like to upscale and to um, ultimately place your remixing on. So you have to upscale first. So um, I like quite like the first one and the second one. So quadrant one and quadrant two. So let's upscale quadrant two. So click on U2 to upscale it. We've now got our base image that we would like to add an element to. All right, so the way you do that is click on Vary Region. It'll bring up a new window. And what you've got over here is basically a place where you can now select where you would like an item to be created. Um, it's already got your existing command and prompt in over here. Don't worry about that for the second. Um, you can do a lasso tool, which basically allows you to select an area that you would like to create something, or you can click on the uh, rectangle. So I'm gonna just get rid of that. Just click on the back button. And I wanna create this space over here. And I want to pop in a F-18 fighter jet. So I'll just copy the prompt across and hit enter. Right, so what it'll do now is use your base image, pass it back to the mid journey engine. And as you can see over here, the mid journey bot has already got the um, base image, which is over here and the base <coughs> 
prompt. We've now just added an additional prompt saying we want to show a fighter jet flying fast. Um, I've included the ca ca camera type just to get that crystal clarity in um, the image itself. Again, have a look at one of my other videos if you're not sure which cam camera to use. Um, cameras make a profound effect on the types of images due to the way it's been trained. All right, so as you can see over here, it's taken our base image and it has now popped in a uh, F-18 fighter jet. All right, so looks pretty fantastic straight off the bat and you can upscale. I quite like image number two and you can upscale that. All right, so that's the, the basic constructs of it. Um, what I wanted to try next was uh, something a little bit more funky and it said that it wouldn't work but I've played around with it and I found that it does work um, and I want to just create a nice tropical beach scene and um, using National Geographic type of images and let's hit enter. So again just set the base scene that you would like um, so this could be something um, in terms of mountains, scenery, um, an office environment, an empty office environment, and you can start adding elements to it. Um, if you had to do this in Photoshop or any other tools, it'll obviously take you a little bit of time to get the texturing and the blending right. Uh, Midjourney has just taken out most of that hard work for you, um, which again, pretty fantastic if you ask me. All right, so creating the base image. All right, and obviously have a look at them and uh, choose which one you would like. Um, I think I chose that one previously, but let's try the, the top one, top left, so upscale image number one. And what we do again, vary the region. All right, they, they recommend selecting quite a large portion. I found that if you made it too small, it wouldn't actually create the image. Like if you wanted to create a little sprite or a gnome or something, it didn't really do it. So it needs a bit of space to actually create that image. All right, so we can do that. And um, I used the penguin example. So king penguin wearing sunglasses. And let's hit enter. And what it will now do is it will merge those two things and hopefully come up with something pretty decent. And again, you can now add a, um, a lounge chair. You can add a, um, a cocktail. You could add a um, food. You could add a bar. You could add anything you really wanted to this thing here. So again, the power is actually just up to your imagination of how you would like to set the scene. Okay, so as you can see here, King Penguin wearing sunglasses and um, looks pretty decent if you ask me and uh, again obviously choose which one you like and upscale that and copy it over to the to the uh, your your local drive all right what i thought i would try is something where there was a lot of complexity in the actual image all right so let's do a forest scene and see what it would do with an expensive forest scene ground level national geographic um, and using a, a camera. So let's hit enter and see, get our base image. Okay, so we've got these images over here. We can choose which one we would like to create for our setting. Um, and again, you can see obviously quite rich foliage, rich sort of details over here. So I quite like image number three. So let's upscale number three. All right, there's our image over here. And again, click on the very region, choose the square tool and ultimately create a space where you would like that particular element or character. So what I thought I would do was create a Mad Hatter drinking tea. Uh, everybody loves a good Mad Hatter in their life. All right, so a pretty unlikely, unlikely setting and pretty unlikely that this has been captured anywhere. And let's see what it would do. All right, so again, um, make sure you get your, the correct aspect ratios and um, create that expansive scene. It just creates open space. So I found that when you didn't create expansive scenes in open space, it didn't know where to place the objects. So that's a top tip right here. Create expansive scenes, something that, that gives Midjourney an opportunity to place an element in it um, that's not distorted by multiple other um, um, identifying elements. All right, so as you can see here, an absolutely fantastic scene of the Mad Hatter sitting, having a cup of tea in our rainforest. All right, um, 
so again, I think the options that have been made available to um, to us in this space has been absolutely profound. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe. I'll 